Hello Windows Universe, Michael here with your insider info on the land of Windows. For whatever reason you disabled your PC touchscreen because at the time it didn't work with the installed version of Windows 10. And now that Windows 10 has gotten better at the interface, you want to do want to re-enable it. But for whatever reason you're not able to re-enable it, believe me, it gets frustrating after a while. Well, in this video, we will look at this fix, and do not worry, we will link an article in the description below to help you step by step. Now for me, usually the preferred way to get something working again, especially like a de device or driver, is the device manager. Now when we go into human interface devices, as you can see, there's quite a few of them, and so you're not exactly sure which one should stay disabled and which one should be enabled. Now, these multiple devices are what's called ghost devices, are copies of the original devices. They were previously installed but not enabled, but the drivers are still present. You can't enable the right one if you do not know which one to enable. Now, that being said, the next step would be to run the hardware tra troubleshooter. Usually I'd say go to the troubleshooter and activate it, but Windows decided to hide the hardware troubleshooter. So we have to go to a command prompt and we have to type in msdt.exe id device diagnostic and device diagnostic is all one word. Hit enter and as you see a dialog box about hardware and device troubleshooter comes up. You just click next and run the diagnostic and when it's done you should be able to go back to device manager and whichever one's left enable. Now if HID is still not working properly, then go and check for the, ne the latest Windows update. This update may have the latest drivers that you need. And as a precaution, you might want to go try downloading the latest HID drivers from the OEM website of your particular computer. Have you run into this problem with the HID compliant touchscreen driver and it not working for you? How did you fix the problem? Let us know in the comments down below. And for other helpful how-tos, visit us at thewindowsclub.com. If this video helped you, give us a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe where we are always uploading new videos that update your digital life drivers. Thanks and have a wonderful day.